Washington, but all over the country, including on our central coast. We wanted to know what our local political leaders thought about this impeachment vote. So KIOWN's Alicia Machado joins us live in Monterey tonight with reaction from our local political leaders. Alicia. Hey, Aaron, thoughts on this impeachment are divided among party lines here on the Central Coast. Local Democrats I spoke with support the move after the riots in Washington, D.C., but Republicans don't believe that President Trump incited those attacks. This is a really sad time for our democracy. Tensions run high between parties as the presidency draws to a close following the U.S. Capitol attacks. President Trump has now been impeached for the second time by the House of Representatives, this time accusing the president of incitement of insurrection. The Santa Cruz County Democratic Central Committee supports the move. I think it's appropriate. I believe that the president of the United States led an insurrection against our government. The group's chair feels that President Trump has been inciting his supporters and that the impeachment sends a message to future presidents. There has to be consequences for unacceptable, illegal behavior. He is not above the law. If you or I had done that, we would be in jail. But Jeff Gorman with the Monterey County Republican Party says it's far-fetched to say the president incited the riots. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are trying to bury Mr. Trump as much as they can and censor him. And I didn't hear anything like a smoking gun where he was telling who to do what. That doesn't mean someone somewhere wasn't orchestrating and ordering this be done or that be done. While the House secured a majority vote for impeachment, it remains to be seen if this will get through the Senate. I think it's fairly ridiculous to impeach someone six days before they leave office. It will probably be a losing battle for this to get time and hearing in the Senate after President Trump has already left office, which will occur in six and a half days. A new president will be inaugurated on January 20th, and two-thirds of the U.S. Senate would be required to vote to remove the president from office uh, for a conviction to take place. Reporting live in Monterey, Alicia Machado, KION News Channel 546.